This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Recently, um, several gay students committed suicide because of bullying, and a lot of high schools throughout the country decided to uh, raise awareness by having, you know, uh, an awareness week. Mm -hmm. And one of these schools was St. Charles North High School in Illinois, mm -hmm. and uh, they called it uh, Ally Week, right, where people would raise awareness for gay students. Well, um, there were about three other students that were not having it, and they decided to show up on the first day of uh, Ally Week by wearing shirts that said Gay Pride in the front. Mm. Not Gay Pride, sorry, Straight Pride. Significant distinction. Yeah, <laughs> huge distinction, yeah. huge distinction. And then on the back of those shirts, um, it had a uh, quotation from Leviticus, and it said, if a man lay with a male as those who lay with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination and shall surely be put to death. Mm. Mm. Right. That's so lovely. not only right, not only does it have the straight pride, but it quotes a section of Leviticus that suggests that the gay students not just shouldn't like be allowed to get married. Right. Death. Right, exactly. Right. Right, so of course that provokes violence, and the administrators pulled those students aside and said, look, uh, we need you to black out uh, the back of your shirts. Fine, it could say straight pride, but yeah. yeah. So they did, they listened, they complied. Um, however, the following day, two other students showed up with shirts that just said straight pride, uh, and the back said nothing else. They were asked to put sweatshirts on so that would no longer be visible. And, you know, and it, it started a discussion about whether or not uh, this is um, violating their freedom of speech. And look, I think that in a school setting, it's important for students to have their First Amendment rights and be able to discuss things. Because having a discussion about gay marriage and, you know, the gay community is one thing, but provoking violence in a school setting is another. And I think that's what these kids were doing. They were provoking violence. I mean, the back of their shirt said gay people should be put to death, basically. Well, I mean, personally, as a, as a major advocate of everybody in, in the whole world, mm -hmm. and of the gay community, and of the any it's human community, mm -hmm. um, I, I totally understand what you're saying, and I get right. it, and I, and, and I would be a little jarred, I think, if this, I saw the students show up with Leviticus and the whole deal. But what about those kids that um, on Cinco de Mayo came in with their American flag t-shirts and they were asked to go home? It's like, come on, yeah, why, no, no, why no. can't everyone just do what they want? No, that is ridiculous. Like, look, those kids, the ones that wore the American flag on Cinco de Mayo, they were trying to be, you know, they were trying to be little assholes. Let's keep it real, okay? But, but you know, that... I don't think provokes violence in the way that these shirts provoked violence. You see what I'm saying? You're in America, you're wearing an American flag, yeah right. you're doing it on Cinco de Mayo to prove a point, but we're in the US, so if they want to wear an American flag, that's their right. But these kids are straight, so if they want to, uh, you know, tell everyone, hey I'm straight, I, I guess that's their right. Right, if they want to wear a shirt that says straight pride, I actually don't have a problem with that. Or white pride. Right. <laughs> no, white pride's a little <laughs> different. Right, but, you know, okay, fine. I mean, it's ignorant, but if you want to wear a yeah. shirt that says straight pride, maybe that'll start a discussion and right. there's something that could be learned from that. But when you're wearing a shirt that's provoking violence, that's completely different. Should, in general, what Gina said, though, should kids be able to wear whatever T-shirt they want? Just in general, should we have the ability to dress yourself as you see fit? You know, we, we, we believe that if a kid goes to school and wants to be a cross-dresser mm -hmm. and dress in, in women's clothes. Little Daphne. Little Daphne, right. But forget, make it older. Make the kid uh, 12, 15, 18. Yes. Should, we, should they yes. be allowed to? Yes. Should they be allowed yes. to? Yes. So then shouldn't you be allowed to wear uh, straight pride t-shirts? That's that, what with I a message With a message from Leviticus no, on the back? No, no. Because, look, the message is different. As administrators, as school administrators, it's your responsibility to keep these kids safe, okay? If people are wearing shirts that are, you know, indicating death or indicating that killing gay people is okay, that's not, it would not be responsible for the administrators to tell them to, you know, keep, the, keep it on or not take it off, you know? They need to take that shirt off because it's provoking violence. No, I totally agree with yeah, you on but, that Yeah, but, like, you know, I'm saying... I think that their First Amendment rights are important unless it creates any type of hostile environment where, you know, someone can get hurt. New sponsor at the Young Turks. 
Squarespace. They help you build websites. They've got 24-7 support, and they've built some of the largest websites in the world. They have an iPhone app, so you can edit your website on the go. TYT promo code. 10% off for the life of your order. Squarespace.